In this program, Insert Array, what we're going to do is we're going to create some methods that will insert values into an existing array. What you can see here is I've got uh, the file name and uh, just a, a method that we're going to use to print the results of our work that we're doing. Uh, so if you want to either copy and paste from a program you've already got print nums created in, or just pause the video and uh, copy it down, make sure that you have this in before we, uh, before we go ahead. Okay, let's begin. So in the main program here, uh, we're going to need to start with a new array here. So uh, we're gonna make an array that we will be inserting elements into uh, a new, uh, sorry, equals new uh, integer array of size 15. And then we are going to uh, load it with random values from zero to 99. So while i is less than array dot length i plus plus, then we are going to have element i get the value of integer, uh, let's go math dot random times 100, not plus one, because I want to go from zero to 99. So that will be loaded. And just to verify that our print nums works, print nums array, you can do that and then test out your program. There we go. We've got our 15 values. What we're going to do is we're going to pick a position within the array and then we're going to insert a new value at that position. So the way we need to call this is we're making a change to our array and it's going to be based on the result of we're, we're going to insert we need to send it the array and we need to send it a value so I'm going to put a 27 just randomly 27 and we're going to put that in position 3 Okay, so uh, what that's going to do is it's going to drop a 27 and then shift everything above position 3 over. So I'll uh, put our print nums here again, and then you'll see the result. Okay, so up here, because I've got this equal sign, we know that insert is returning a value. So it's public static integer array type and we'll call it insert. We need our array here. We need our value we're inserting, and we need the position that we are inserting that value at, okay? So in here, we're going to create uh, an array that'll hold the result. So I'm gonna keep its name as new array be a new uh, integer array, but what size is it going to be? Now it's going to be based on array dot length plus one because we're adding one value into it. Okay. Uh, now what we need is it, everything before the object that we are going to insert nothing actually changes with the array. So this is gonna be pretty straightforward. Int i gets the value zero, while i is less than the position that we're going to insert that value. Uh, then what we're going to do here is we are going to just copy it straight over. So new array, element i is gonna get the value of array, element i copying it over. Okay, now the next value is going to be the position that we are setting the value here. So all we have to do is put in a line, new array, which part of the array? Well, the uh, element at the position we've chosen is going to become the value that we chose to put at that position. Okay. So we've got the left-hand side is identical 
We've got the new position that we added. Now what we have to do is we have to do the right hand side of the array or everything that is above the position. So we need another for loop for this. Uh, int i equals, okay, so now we have to think of what is the next position here. So we want our next one to be position plus one because we're gonna start afterwards. Position plus one. Well, i is less than new array dot length because we're gonna to go to the uh, the end of our new array, i plus plus. So we're gonna keep going new array position i is going to become equal, whoops, is going to become equal to uh, our array, but essentially what we're doing is we're shifting everything up. So if there was something in position seven, it's now gonna be an eight. If there was a, something at eight, it's gonna be a nine. So we essentially have to go back one and then we're, we're drawing it all forward to shuffle it into its current correct position. And then what we need to do is we're gonna return our new array here. Okay, so let's take a look at where the 27 ends up. Here we go, we've got our uh, program finished. So uh, as we expected, position three is going to be where this 27 gets dropped, so you see it wasn't in the first, and then zero, one, two, three, and then everything from 63 on gets moved up into this position. So kind of what we were doing was like array, say if we're on position zero, one, two, three, four, this would be our i, so we have to get the value from i minus one in the other one. This is i, we get the value from i minus one in the original one, and we that, that's the way that we have to continue throughout this whole thing. Okay, so now uh, let's take a look at another way of inserting values here. So we're gonna put some new, uh, a section of random new numbers here. So we're not going to be able to overload or reuse the name because we're going to get the same values for it. So uh, we're array, I want uh, five random elements starting in position three. Now you can see because it's array integer integer, we can't have these two the same name because this one's also array integer integer, even though they do different things. And then after we're done this, we're going to print those numbers, of course. Okay, moving up here. Um, let's do our um, insert random. So public static integer insert random. Now we're gonna get our integer array uh, our integer for how many values we're including, and our integer for what position, uh, which position that we are starting at. So um, integer new array equals new uh, integer array. Now how long is this going to be? It's going to be the length of the original one plus how many values we are adding into it. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is we need to uh, copy over everything that is before, um, before the position that we're doing. So I'm gonna copy and paste this because what we're going to do is everything before we're ready to start putting in values is just gonna get copied over again. So now this is where we're going to put in our sequence of new numbers. So for int 
i equals, what's the first position that I want to put a value at? Position. And that's important to keep uh, because we need to know which position of the new array we're actually dropping this value into. Now we're going to do this while i is less than position plus uh, our values. Because if you want to think about it, this is like position zero of what we're doing. And when we're, we want to do five things and you start at zero, you go to, from zero to less than five. So that's why, we're, uh, why it's a less than rather than a less than equals. Uh, but you may need to kind of like work it out on paper to figure out uh, if you're having a tough time figuring out why this is less than rather than uh, less than equals. Um, I plus plus. And what we're going to do is our new array i is going to get a random number. So I've already got this down here. I'm just going to copy and paste this. So we're going to drop more random values uh, into whatever position that we want to start at. Now, the only thing that we need to do is we need to put the right-hand side of the array, so this is after the region that we are, uh, we are including. So for int i, uh, where are we going to start here? This is going to be at the position plus the amount of values that we just included. So it's essentially at this, um, this position that we stopped like right before. So at position plus values, we're going to keep going to the end of our new array. And we're going to keep going uh, one at a time, so I plus plus. And now new array position i is going to get the value of array i. Now we did a minus 1 before when we were only inserting one value, but we just shifted a whole bunch of values over. So we have to shift this by values, and then we're going to return new array. So we'll run this. And we've got one, two, three, four, five. I just want to verify here. Uh, good, I got worried that the double zero was, uh, was a blank one. So uh, essentially, let's find out where it put the random numbers in. So remember, it was five random numbers starting at position three. So what is a new number here? There we go. So one, two, three, four, five at position one, zero, one, two, three. So we've got five positions uh, starting at three, and then the rest of the array, see 27, 1, 68, 27, 1, 68, the rest of it gets pushed over. So uh, very often you're gonna want to uh, insert values into an array, and then this is the uh, method you're gonna use in order to do that in a whole bunch of other programs.